Do not fall in there, you're gonna be freezing. We've just parked up behind the island out of the wind a little bit here. We're gonna watch the sunrise together. This is our first sunrise, I think. And she's, oh, she's so cuddly when it's cold too. But yeah, enough of the cute stuff. We're going fishing. Ready, Vixie, this is how you do it. You go, get your line out and then reel it in nice and quick. Yeah, cool, all right, let's do it. Vixie's just fueling up. That sun is coming up over the horizon. Time to get some bloody fish. Engine on, sun is rising. Let's get out of there, where is she? <laughs> So it's just one of those massive markers that the container ships use to navigate through the water here. And, um, and it does hold groups of uh, small school mackerel, spotted mackerel and things like that. Whoa! I'm sorry, Puffy. This is kind of gnarly. I don't think it'd be this bad out here. Are you all right? Oh. I hate tying her up, but I'm just, there's too much going on. I don't want to lose her out here, so keep her on the on the leash. Hopefully we can get a mackerel and get back behind that cover that we were at this morning. Oh, there's no way. Fixie! No! You booted in the new boat! No, then you stepped on it! Oh, oh, oh! Get a dog, they said. What have you done? The new boat! <laughs> I guess there's nowhere else you could have gone. No, it's a bit choppy, hey. It's cold. What the hell has dad got you out here for? Oh, man. Alright, take two. We're back out here today. Puppy's at home. Jed's out with me. He's in the water already, but I wanted to show you guys this brand new gun I just picked up. It's a Rob Allen Sparrow Evo 1200, and the colors of this thing are insane. Kind of suits the boat. I haven't had a new spear gun in a while, so I'm going to try this out today, see if I can get some fish. We're just living off the ocean, trying to get some food, and uh, having a good time. So I'm going to wet you up. It's freezing, but I'm going to get in the water, see how this thing goes. <laughs> you got something already? Yeah. Oh, that's a good one too. <laughs> From the surface. <laughs> yeah, look at that. That's what we're chasing today. Uh, you. So the species that we're after today is known as the black spot tusk fish or the blue bone. These are a super impressive fish. They range from like a couple kilo to 10 plus kilo. They only need to be about 30 centimeters to keep. So we're chasing some of those smaller models, nice cooking up size, but I see three just in front of me. I've only just jumped in, so I don't need to pull the trigger just yet. I'm just scoping out what's around, but it's good to see a few of them here. I'm gonna try and find a little bit bigger than this. Mm. 
just hanging it out too far. I don't want to miss our first shot. <laughs> Oh, that's a nice size. Oh, nice shot as guys. well. He cruised in, just a bit nicer than those small ones, so I plugged him. But, yeah, you should see. Good shot as well. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's so clean. Well, I'm caught on to <laughs> you some up. coral here. I can try it <laughs> there we go. Beautiful fish. First shot on the brand new gun, and we got this nice little black spot tusky. Absolutely stoked with that. Jed's just shot. Jed's just shot a monster tusky. Holy! Long shot on the surface. Oh man! Oh, hold him tight. <laughs> <laughs> Better size tusky. That's what we're looking for. Hell yeah! Beautiful base. Happy Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm getting back in. Holy <laughs> crap! He's a beast. All right. Big dog. I'm back in the water looking for a bigger tusky to compete with Jetty's one. My method here is to just hit bottom and wait as long as possible. Let the little tuskies come in and see if we can spot some of those bigger ones on the outskirts. I just couldn't resist on this beautiful pan-sized tusky, so that method went out the window pretty quick. My next drop, I stumbled across something pretty insane. Mate. Bloody hell. All right, before the comments start rolling in, I just want to explain myself a little bit. I've done two of these turtle rescues before this one in my whole years of YouTube. I flipped a turtle on the beach and I helped unravel one out of some fishing nets. And both of those two times, I received the most hate I've ever had in my life. I've had death threats, people saying they're gonna bash me to death if they see me in person. Crazy stuff, right? Because most of these, I reckon 90% of the people watching them thought that these videos were staged. I'm not here to argue with those people from the last two rescues, but I thought maybe it would be better if I gave a little bit more explanation or maybe some of my thoughts and reasonings behind this turtle rescue to help people understand why I did what I did and, and so forth. So I found this turtle with line down its gob, wrapped around its right fin. It was on a drop. I, I just went to film him because he looked cool and I noticed that. I dropped my gun. I grabbed the dive knife and I, you can see I actually went to cut the line up from its mouth first, but I thought, oh no, I better see if I can pull it out of its mouth. No idea if there was a hook or anything else in there. I gave it a big tug and it didn't really move. So I cut the rest of the line off its fin, gave it one more tug. I was like, nah, this is not coming and I was losing air. So I just cut it right close to its mouth and it started swimming off and, and I went to the surface. So I guess what I'm hoping will come out of this is that maybe there is a hook that's just in its neck and that might rust out because hooks do rust away in salt water for periods of time. So I guess there's a chance the turtle could survive if that hook just rusts out over some time. There could be heaps more line down into its stomach. I had no idea. The turtle was the biggest thing I've ever seen in my life. Like it was, it was one of the biggest turtles. So if it's got heaps of line, like there's no way I'm wrangling with that. They can bite your finger off, so I wasn't gonna put my hand down its mouth. That's sort of the thought process. I do not know if this turtle will survive. There is a great chance it could die. It could be dead now. 
or it could suffer for months or it could survive. I really don't know, but I did what I thought was the best thing to do in that moment while I was holding my breath underwater in a short period of time, not knowing if the turtle was gonna swim off or bite me or this and that. It seemed to be very chill, so I think it needed the help, but all I want is for that turtle to be all right, but if it's gonna pass away, it'll pass away. I do get a lot of the it's natural selection comments, which is ridiculous because natural selections shouldn't count if it's people's fishing line and stuff like that. So. I'm not gonna look at a turtle that could use some help and say, I'm not gonna touch it because of natural selection. I wouldn't touch turtles normally. They're not supposed to be touched, but only because this guy was sitting there and obviously in need of some help, I did the best I could. And that's sort of why I did it. But I'll post this as a short and you watch the comments will roast me for it, but I don't care. I don't care what the people have to say. I like turtles more than most people, so I'm gonna look after the turtles and hopefully he swims on another day. We'll see, but I just thought I'd say my two cents on the situation. Let me know down below what you think, any theories, or if you think I could have done something different, I guess. But um, yeah, we'll get back to the video, eh? A few days later, I was diving the same spot and I found the turtle having a sleep on the ocean floor. He seemed to be in all right condition, so fingers crossed this guy lives on happily and healthily. Chasing sharks. Let's go, let's go, let's go. They're over here. I get bit, this is my own fault. I'm surrounded by sharks. Here he comes again. That's pretty awesome. I don't want to harass these sharks. I just wanted to stand still, see what they did. Came in close, check me out, but we'll leave them be. Come here. Dad's alive. The sharks didn't bite him. Let's go cook up some fish. Come on, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Oh, she's quick. She's really quick. <laughs> this is one of the little ones we shot the other day or yesterday whenever it was so i'll whack fillets off this skin it and um cook that in nice little chunks on the weber two beautiful tusky fillets oh no dukesy get out of it i've diced it up into nice sort of small cubes i'm just gonna crank it with pepper Lots of pepper. So I've got the rest of this fish blend, which is just like lemon, dill, garlic. I'm gonna pour that on top of the fish, mix it up. Have a go at that. And I'm not using anything else. It's just a bit of pepper, a bit of that fish blend. Let's see if we got some flame here. I can't see it, but I can hear it. Put a nice coating of oil. And we'll whack the first bunch of these on. Actually, they might all fit, we'll see. Oh, these might just fit. Two more bits. Boom. Oh, one more. Look at that. I'll close the lid just to keep a bit of that heat going. Fish already just tasted that good, so there's not that much that you have to do 
to, to enhance the flavour in my opinion, but yeah, that's just how I do it. They're not going to take long at all. Looks absolutely amazing. I cannot wait to get this in my stomach. All the fish done right here. Do you want to just try it on its own before we um do anything to it? Yeah. Just grab a bit. Cheers. Cheers. Oh yeah. Okay, yeah. All right. We've got a salad here and we don't have any utensils to eat it with, so. <laughs> do you reckon it's going to be able to be? Yeah. Mmm, nice. This is a new staple of mine at the moment too. Chili oil. Um, I won't put it on all the fish because you don't like it, hey? No, I don't mind it. It's just really hot. So it's just really, really spot. It's actually not that bad. Yeah. It's just a... Yum. I wasn't going to say anything <laughs> because I thought you might just think it's a seasoning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I know what sand tastes like. The, you know the crunch of sand. Oh yeah. You want some fish? <sighs> chili oil is that chili oil is hot as well. Let me see your method. The best way. Use two fingers and you just scoop it in the gob. <laughs> How good. Salad's almost gone. Tongue is on fire. I'm trying to be better with the chili guys, but wow, that is hot. And Vixie's just hanging out. Uh, it's been a good boat day, hey. We'll see you in the next one. Stay safe and enjoy your salad. <laughs> Eat your salad and your veggies. Say bye, Vixie. Bye.